we're gonna we're gonna let out a little pent up aggression. Hey guys, Dragon Chief and Starry Swirly, and uh, the thumbnail says it all. Today we are going to be destroying a bootleg Wings of Fire color coloring book. But uh, before we get into that, we're just going to. Have a little story time right here, give you the grand tour of this book and why it is so worthy of destruction. Starting with the cover, this is by Constelli Arts and it was probably taken without her permission. So if everything you see, the gist book belongs to all of the artists who this book stole art from and profited off of it. And our parents got it for my birthday, they didn't know. And so we are going to be getting our money's worth with you. And so let's start with, we've got a color test page. That's nice of them. We've got a few uh, just Joy Aang um, line arts that they probably- I how they extracted the line art from the covers. That's they, kind of impressive. They probably got it off the internet somewhere like the rest of these. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got like a random- That looks like the comic. Yeah, the graphic novel. This is probably a panel from here. Um, we have, uh, this is probably somebody's ice wing base. Uh, I don't know this artist. More. Mm -hmm. More Joy Aang. This, uh, why is, why does the silkwing only have one set of wings? Like, it looks like a silkwing base from somebody. But it only has one set of wings. Yeah, it could be a hybrid. Maybe. Um, there's another repeat. Um, here's just a <laughs> random dragon they took from the internet. Um, not even wings of fire. A random hy hybrid base. They've got like a rain wing head on this leaf wing. Yeah. Um... More silkwing, more silkwing. Except that's not Joy Aang. That is Peregrine Sella, I'm going to guess. Both um, Constelli Arts and Peregrine Sella, they um, have a real talent for mimicking Joy Aang's art style. That's one of the things I like about them. Um, There's another ice wing, but with shading this time. More Peregrine Sella, more of that. And if we go on these artists' account, you'll probably see you don't repost or trace these without our permission. Although I think they um, had the bases free to use with credit, which, there is none. I don't think that's a Wings of Fire Dragon. Or if it is, it's a fan um, A fan tribe. tribe. Um, this is just somebody's colored pencil drawing of like the Sandwing Sisters, maybe? Yeah, it looks traditional. Mm. Uh, oh, this is Owie Bix. Um, yeah, you can tell because the name is on it. Yep, <laughs> um, didn't remove the signature. Uh, don't know who that is. Uh, keeping going, more people's art. Another silk wing. Oh, that I like the way they did the wings extended, there. Extended, yeah. The wings look really cool too. Mm-hmm. That doesn't look. Th that looks like a, another fan tribe. Yeah. That I'm willing to best is not wings of fire unless I mean, it's like a weird German version. You know how the, they have those weird. They have different covers for like. Yeah. Different countries and sometimes the dragons look kind of like that. Uh, that looks like something that belongs in Burns Tower. <laughs> Another. Not, not Wings of Fire. Yeah. Uh, that, that was earlier in the book, just without a background. Yeah. And look, there's the name, Peregrine Sella. Uh, I was right. <laughs> oh, yes, Cloud Jumper, my favorite Wings of Fire dragon. Yes. Just love it so mm. much. Looks like Gil. Yeah, the, I was about to say the same thing. It's like the dehydrated, shriveled. Mm -hmm. That's just straight up somebody's OC. That's not even a. It's not it even. could be a hive wing, but oh no, it's got a robo hand. That's yeah. If it's wings of fire, it's a very dramatic alternate universe. All right, and that's it. So, <laughs> oh, the worst for last. This thing. This um, thing. This is a commission drawn by Night Riser for uh, I don't remember their username, but I we can put it, edit in um later on. But uh, that person paid good money for this commission of their OCs, which are not Wings of Fire in the slightest. And now somebody ripped it off and put it on the back of a book, which is like so messed up on so many levels. Yes. So, um, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna let out a little pent up aggression. Here we go. First off, we're gonna start out by just, uh, coloring it, but we're gonna do it with low quality restaurant crayons. So... It'll be a little bit disrespectful. We're gonna we're gonna up the ante as we go along. You can stop filming for the next. So we're going to uh, take this opportunity to experiment with a few um, art challenges, unconventional art challenges that I've had just knocking around in my coconut and 
I'm going to just rip out some pages so that Starry can color along with me. So what's our first challenge? Drawing with crappy crayons. Yes. After that? I lost the list. Oh man. It's okay. I can find it. Uh, color entirely outside the lines on a page. Mm-hmm. Left-handed coloring. Yes. Color with toes only. Yes. Uh, we were going to use rose art crayons, but we didn't have those. Mm. Looks like this dragon has seen better clays. <laughs> yeah. I give him green because I think it would be cool if they grew algae on themselves. Mossy boy. Yes. He is surrounded by a sea of color, but not one bit will be let into his blank, sad scales. Besides the mustache. Besides the mustache. Time for a montage of drawing with different body parts, mouths, toes, telekinesis. Oh, y'all. Look, my thing broke. Oh, get the gray. I, I, I think we're almost done. cleared out my sinuses you know I don't feel allergic anymore good for you they've seen my feet before this is nothing new um oh man I have yellow kestrel apparently that's scarlet is that scarlet or kestrel um I think that's scarlet maybe she kind of has a scarlet expression but mine looks like kestrel I need you pray. either way a yellow skywing is probably not something you wanted to see today but this is way easier than drawing with your mouth. Yes, definitely. Still. I feel like a chicken. Just gonna dig for some worms. Yeah. The masterpiece. Yes. Oh, it broke. I'm done then. All right. I need to blink. And now, here's a form of delicious retribution. We are going to, um, well, I am going to um, lick some of these uh, lollipops. And then once I've got my t the pigment on my tongue, I'm going to transfer it to the paper via licking it. And that's how we're going to color in this page. I just came up with a creatively awful way to color something in. And I just wanted to try it. So, I don't know, let's start with the... Sort of working. Right. Um, we experimented a lot. Looks like the blue showed up the best, but it's still, you know, pretty faint. Um, this probably would have been cooler if it was a rain wing, but you know, we we're doing this in order. And uh, yeah, I hope nobody gets a hold of this. Like they could use my saliva to put a curse on me or something. So keep this page out of enemy hands. And you know what? I think all this sitting here has made me a little antsy. I think it's time for a dance break. Next, we're gonna use this as a cat toy. There he goes. There he goes. A little bit. Yeah, he's not into it. This is an unworthy toy. Welcome back to Cooking with Sheepy. Um, so you're gonna wanna start with a bowl of water and a couple of forks. Thank you. You're gonna wanna rip this up into long strips. And then you're gonna make them shorter as you go along. Why are you folding them? So I can rip them all at once. Oh, smart. You're smart. You just want to make sure it gets dissolved in there, fold it in, fold it in. And then finally, 
we are left with a beautiful soup, garnish, and serve with hatred. It's time for some target practice. With my very good circle drawing, I'm an artist. Beautiful. Well done. All right, this is looking nice and almost done, but I think we could use a fiery grand finale. Okay. Is that so much to ask? Get the blowtorch! Touch that thing because it will be too hot to touch. All right. Good to know. All right, that was fun. Yeah. Well, that was great. All right. Now, as this thing burns, it's time for a little uh, disclaimer. We are not disrespecting anybody's art in this. We are disrespecting the act of taking someone's art without permission and profiting off of it. That's the that's the message we are trying to um, set here. Okay. But uh, I mean, to be fair, when the uh, legit book comes out in, later this month, we're probably gonna treat it just as badly. <laughs> Tune in later. next time for part two. Yes, where we disrespect the um, non-bootleg <laughs> Wings of Fire coloring book.